Easter Abbey, where Kate and William were married. That's coming up later. Much more historic church. We'll see on the right soon. Because basically every single... He was uh, buried standing upside down. Oh, yeah, yeah. There we are, Westminster Abbey, the Royal Church, where Kate and William would have left the church after their marriage. In fact, at in that, in that, that time in London, you would see people camped all the way down the street for three days in their tents, waiting to get the best view of the royal couple. It went all the big royal crazy in those days. It's going royal crazy now, I suppose, but anyway. So here we are, this is Parliament Square. We're coming up with a man represented here. On the right, the first statue, the back of Nelson Mandela statue. Just celebrated his 95th birthday. We wish him all the best, of course. The only man to unveil his own statue here in Parliament Square. What do you have to do to get married in West? There we are. In private place, opposite the House of Parliament. Of course, this is the centre of government. The House of Parliament, also known as Westminster Palace, this side. It used to be the Norman Palace in the 11th century, all rebuilt since then. And that includes, of course, Big Ben, which is the bell. Now, you can go and see the proceedings here if you want to. Anytime the politicians are in session, you can go in for free, just around the corner. You can go and see the House of Commons and the House of Lords if you want, both bodies. So there are over a thousand rooms in the House of Parliament, incredibly. 25 bars, 25 individual bars, all for the politicians, none of which are open to the public, and all at very cheap prices as well for the politicians. That's nice. For the rest of us, we pay a fortune for everything. Right, we're coming up to Westminster Bridge. This is our stop for those who are getting off here. I hope you've enjoyed the tour. You can leave a tip if you want with Tony, our wonderful driver. We're going to drop you off on the south bank, on the other side of the river, and then carry on. Yeah. alongside the Palace of Westminster, House of Parliament. Those who are continuing the tour, we're here just for a moment and then we're going to carry on to the ancient city of London. Okay, guys, this is your step. For those at the back, we're going to let you off here. But listen, I think if you want to get married or remarried on the London Eye, if you do decide you want to do that, I must give you a piece of advice. Please make sure you get married before you get to the top. Okay, we're going to cross over Waterloo Bridge now. If you do have a camera or iPhone, iPad, iPhone, whatever you use, get ready on the left because you have each shot. Right, we're going to cross over Waterloo Bridge now. Let's get ready on the left. We're going to stop reaching, we cannot not stop too long because this is the main bus route, we'll do our bus route. Here it comes between the two buildings on the left, big bend, together with the left side. We'll just stop here. Right, we're going to cross over Waterloo Bridge on the left side of the Newest Bridge. We're going to go to the Newest Bridge. Somerset House, it's an enormous building, formerly Somerset Palace. So this was a this became the centre of London. level juts out slightly from each other for a very simple reason, you might be able to guess the reason, in those days no indoor toilets, all sewage going straight over the balcony and they didn't wish to get in on themselves, so they, that's why they called it 
the houses. Right there, how lovely. Outside of Ireland, it's called the Tipperary Cup on your right. Named after the famous song. There we are. The first part, I would cut outside of Ireland. On the left, the old Cheshire trees. This is the most, the most historic cup in the whole of the This is Charles Dickens' favourite cup. Dr. Samuel Johnson, uh, Arthur Conan Bill, Freddie and Sherlock Holmes as well, looking around the corner. Yeah. And this is exactly the site of the Fleet River. Now, the Fleet River is one of the many lost rivers of London. It used to flow. In fact, the Fleet River itself flows still under our feet here. This is the financial centre of London. Although we don't fly past it, we're very close to the Bank of England, Lombard Street. This is the central finance. But also, of course, going back in time, this was the Roman centre of London. We're very close to the Red Bull, the Pacific, the Temple of Midwest, all around here. This is the start of London. Oh, we do go back. Oh, it's open now, is it, Tony? Oh, that's cool. Oh, we are going to go back past the bank again. It's been closed a long time, this street, but they've opened it up. The source of low power London right here. Monument, you can see the warning balcony right at the top. Right up at the top during the day. And essentially, if you place that on its side, away from us, it would walk exactly where the base is called, 200 feet away from the bottom. Right. Now, this is London Bridge. Most tourists got very disappointed when they see London Bridge. It's not very pretty. It's not very old, 19th century, as is fair to say. The old one of course was in Arizona. And the famous story of the American business when he was born on the bridge before he was flying the power bridge. And when he got it out of the bridge, he was on the left side of the bridge. It's a good job, actually. But it's not true, it's a bit of a bridge. We knew what it was like. But there we are, the power bridge. The green bridge that most people think is on the bridge. And you can see it's coming through. Shakespeare's London, we're coming up to a very close to Reading. The original Royal Theatre, the original Royal Theatre, which is the Shakespeare Camp, 16th century, slum area of London, that suburb is built. Just around the corner, just straight ahead of us, slightly to the right, is the oldest market in London, very popular place called Bower Market, and back to the 14th century. Much more recently, if you look above you, on the right, you will see what is going to be the tallest skyscraper in the whole of Europe, Western Europe, it's a shard, designed by Italian architect, 390 meters high. It's not quite finished, but it is soon. We can now already stand to buy a ticket to the city of the top of it. You want a great view, it's about 25 pounds. Or, if you're a Greenpeace, you can just find it. Okay, on we go. Now, on the right, you'll see what is, at the moment at least, the tallest skyscraper of London, the big pyramid top building, very famous. That is Mary Wharf in the east end of London. But also, what I do recommend, if you've got time in London, to the river comes down to the east side, you've got Greenwich, very beautiful place. One of the four UNESCO World Heritage Sites in London, Greenwich. The other one we've seen already, which is the House of Parliament. The most famous UNESCO site in London is on the left hand, the Tower of London.